Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an ultimate book video. So we're going to be going book shopping together. I'm going to give you guys a haul of what I buy today. I may do a little bit of a reading vlog of my current read and talk about that. And then also I'm going to be showing you guys my new little reading area, little corner nook situation. Um, if you don't know, we recently moved in with my mom and so because of the housing market is just crazy. But so we wanted to make me a little corner in our bedroom that we are currently staying in. And so I'm going to be revealing that finally. I feel like I haven't really showed much of it. Gonna be finished decorating that so we may get some things to finish up that corner. But that's basically gonna be today's video, pretty much just all about books. So if you like books, I hope you enjoy this video. So Michael and I just made it to the cutest bookstore ever and they're literally closed on Mondays. I did not know that, so we are going to have to now go to Barnes & Noble, which is okay, because we love Barnes, but I'll have to come back here another time and show y'all. It's super cute, and I'm very disappointed. To Barnes, we... trip I got five books I think and a cute bookmark but we're gonna go find something to eat and then probably go to Target for more of the book corner stuff and I got lots of good books I'm so excited to show you guys but I'm not gonna show you until I get home there's some damage <laughs> not the good time <laughs> okay you wanna be in it with me Nora Okay, so we are finally back home now. I have Nora right next to me. Look how cute she is. We're finally back home and I'm gonna share all the books that we got today. I also went the other day to Barnes & Noble with my cousins and I did get one book and a little something there, so I wanted to share that. So I thought why not include that in this video as well. The book that I got the other day was the Flat Share by Beth O'Leary in this cover is literally the cutest cover, one of the cutest covers that I have ever seen. This just is my style. I love the colors. I love that it kind of looks painted. Just super cute. And I love that the name is vertical like that. I feel like I haven't seen that. But I have read The No Show by Beth O'Leary. And I actually, that was the first book that I annotated. And I do have a video of that if you want to watch that. It was pretty fun to do. And I love that book a lot more than I thought I would. So I wanted to get another Beth O'Leary book. So I got this one. Had been eyeing it for a while just because of the cover. But now that I've read Beth O'Leary, I'm glad I got it. And the only other thing that I got the other day with my cousins when I went was this cute cutie little bookish to do notepad. I am a sucker for notepads and like lists. I just love any kind of check off to do list. I always love a good paper one as well. So this was super cute. It had books on it and I got this. Okay, now we're going to talk about two of the stuff that I got today. First off, I found this cute little bookmark that says I have no shelf control and it has some books and this little tassel on it. My favorite kind of bookmarks are kind of just traditional ones like this that you just shove into the book. I do have some of those magnetic ones and I like those too but there's something about a good old like paper bookmark. So the first book that I got today is Daisy Jones in the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So many people love this book okay and the show's coming out in March so it's coming out very very soon so I'm like okay I gotta read this but my thing is I don't like Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. I've read two by her and one of them I even DNF'd and the other one took me like two months to get through. So I just, 
I'm not her biggest fan. And I know a lot of people like her. And I've only read two, like I said, or one and a half, really. But I just, I'm not her biggest fan. But I have heard that the writing style is a little bit different in here. And I'm interested to read this because, I don't know. I wouldn't gravitate towards, like, what this is about. It's, like, about a band. And I love music and stuff like that. But I just... I don't know why. I don't really care to read about it, but so many people have been saying good things about it and the show's coming, so I thought, why not read it now? The next book that I got is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus, and it was $5 off, so that was another reason why I got it, but I have been eyeing this for a while, and I know it was like number one rated Barnes & Noble book for last year, um, and so I really wanted to read it, and the cover is really cool too. When I saw the $5 off, I was like, why not now? Because it is a hardcover, so they're a little more expensive, but I actually really enjoy hardcovers, so people hate hardcovers. I love hardcovers. I'm gonna read a little bit of the blurb so I can kind of tell you what it's about. It says, Chemist Elizabeth Zott is not your average woman. In fact, Elizabeth Zott would be the first to point out that there is no such thing as an average woman. But it's the early 1960s and her all-male team at Hastings Research Institute takes a very unscientific view of equality, except for one. Calvin Evans, the lonely, brilliant, Nobel Prize nominated grudge holder who falls in love with of all things, her mind, true chemistry results. Like science, so life is unpredictable, which is why a few years later, Elizabeth Salt finds herself not only a single mother, but also the reluctant star of America's most beloved cooking show, Supper at Six. Hmm. Elizabeth's unusual approach to cooking proves revolutionary. But as her following grows, not everyone is happy because as it turns out, Elizabeth Zott isn't just teaching women to cook, she's daring them to change the status quo. So I just thought that this would be a very interesting read. I've read that blurb before and always wanted to get this. And like I said, when I saw it was $5 off, I was like, why not? And it was rated one of the best books of 2022. So it sounds very woman heavy, which I'm very excited about and probably gonna make me feel very much girl power. If you have read this, let me know how you liked it because I know a lot of people love this because it was rated top rated, but I don't know anyone personally who has read it. So I would love to know your thoughts. The next book that I got is very popular right now and this is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher and this is in a trilogy. I think the trilogy is done, like I don't think there's more books, I think it's just a trilogy. I don't know too much about this to be honest, but I've been hearing great things and the covers are amazing for each three books. This is just the first book, obviously, but look at these pages. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like kind of different colors because for different chapters or different is it different POVs? It looks like it's different POVs, but it has like, you know, kind of different colors and pictures for the chapters. The back of it says Rowan. I am in the business of creating fairy tales, theme parks, production companies, five-star hotels. Everything could be all mine if I renovated Dreamland. My initial idea of hiring, is it Zara? Sara? Zara was good in theory, but then I kissed her. Hmm. Things spiraled out of control once I texted her using an alias. By the time I realized where I went wrong, it was too late. People don't like me. People like me don't get happy endings, not when we're destined to ruin them. Okay, so we got some drama, we got some romance, we got some workplace romance, which is very interesting to me. So I'm excited to see this. I think the second book, if I'm not mistaken, is like from a different couple, I think, in this book, but I'm not sure. But a lot of people are loving this at the moment, so I'm excited to see if I like it as well. The next book that I got was If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. And again, I have been seeing this other places and I've heard it's super sad. I don't know what it's about, but I've heard it's really sad and I always like to hear that because I feel like that's a challenge if I'm gonna cry. I'm not very emotional when I read books. There hasn't been very many books that have gave me a ton of like, I don't know, sad emotion. And so I find it really interesting when people say like, oh, I cried and then I'm like, oh, I wanna see if it gives me like same feeling. So I'm excited to see if it does that. It says, Autumn and Finn used to be inseparable, but then something changed or they changed. Now they do their best to ignore each other. Autumn has her boyfriend, Jamie, and her close-knit group of friends. Finn has become that boy at school that everyone wants to be around. That still doesn't stop the way Autumn feels every time she and Finn cross paths and the growing, nagging thought that maybe things could have been different, maybe they should be together. And as time passes, Autumn realizes she might not get another chance to make things right before it's too late. Okay, I already know it's gonna be sad. I can kind of anticipate what's gonna happen. We'll see if there's like any twists in it, but definitely sounds like a good romance, but also, not too light like i'm not a big fan of those fluffy romances i'll read them every once in a while and you'll see me read them but they're never my favorite favorite books so i like when something has a little bit more depth to it within the romance i don't know why but this kind of gives me um the fault in our star 
vibes which it probably is not the same thing like with someone being sick but it could be and it's second chance hmm. i feel like i haven't read a ton of second chance and that's not usually my favorite trope either but i think i will like this one and the last book that i got today is a court of frost and starlight which is the fourth book in the akatar series i'm currently reading the third book and i'm close to getting done i'm definitely over halfway um that's what i'm currently reading right now trying to finish it it's very long it's like 700 pages so i'm very happy that this is like a little novella and i know people have said that you don't have to read this book but i definitely am not gonna miss it because i love the world and don't want to miss anything with any of the characters so those are all the books that i got today that was my little book haul let me know again if you've read any of them if any of these are your favorite books or if you're like i did not like the book it was not worth the hype comment down below i love to chat about that kind of stuff now we did go to target and i did get some a couple other things to help finish my little book nook and book corner and a little bit later michael's gonna help me set all it up and i'm gonna give you all a little tour and show y'all us kind of putting it together and i hope you guys enjoy that part as well because it's very fun and i'm very excited to make it super cozy and be done with it so i have a little spot to read and keep my books okay so this is the current situation with all my books but this is basically the corner right here that i'm going to make into my little reading corner little sitting cozy nook area i'm not getting a bookshelf because it's pretty skinny right here and we're going to be moving out in a few months so i just don't want to do anything too permanent so we're basically just going to stack my books up and it does look really cool i've had them there but i'm trying to organize them now and then making a cute little seating area so it's like cozy and i can maybe sit here and read next to my books but that's what we're going to be doing and this is my So I just finished putting all my books. I do have a little pile over here, but I think I'm going to put that on my nightstand because those are ones that I recently read that I need for a video. But this is it. I tried to kind of organize them pretty much from here. This book here up are, is books I haven't read, so my TBR. And I wanted to kind of organize them because before they were just all over the place. So I kind of know what books I haven't read yet. But I think it looks pretty cool. So now I'm going to add a cushion, some pillows, a blanket, and some lights. just finished the little corner and i love it so much the lights are so cute i feel like at night it's gonna look so pretty and i'll try to film it a little bit tonight so that you guys can see it but i just think it looks so good and here's my little annotation supplies if i want to annotate while i'm reading some cute videos with the blanket and this cute little puffer that i got from target pretty much everything's from target this basket's from target the puffers from Target, blanket, pillows, um, and even this rug, which is just perfect for this little corner. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And again, these books over here are ones that I have not read yet. And of course, I just think it'll be easy to grab right there. And that's a big book, but I think it looks pretty cool right there. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. It's not full nighttime yet, but it's a little bit darker and look how 
cute. It definitely shows up a lot more. I just love it so much. I think it looks so cozy. I am so happy with it. I love it so much. Okay, so before I do the outro for the video, I wanted to really quickly talk about my current read. Like I said, I am reading A Court of Rings and Rune, which is the third book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, and I am enjoying this. I have about 150 pages left, I would say, um, and I really like it. I've heard people say that this is either their least favorite or their favorite book, kind of depending on what you like because this is a lot of strategy planning for war so far i would give this like two stars i mean not two stars four stars i'm not done with it but the first and second book i gave five stars and i love this book but just not as much because again i feel like it's not there's a lot going on but it is a lot of planning and strategizing which i actually thought i would like that better than some of the other stuff that has happened but i don't know i feel like i like the first and second one better but i am really enjoying it I'm not done, but so far I'd give like four stars. So I kind of just wanted to give a little reading update on what I'm currently reading. I'm planning on reading perhaps one more book in the month of February. I don't think I can read two more. Um, and it will be a pink book. So stay tuned for my February wrap up because I read all pink books and I can't wait to share them with you and what I thought about them. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me, book shopping, doing a book haul, and just setting up my cozy little corner. This is going to be my favorite new filming space for sure. So you will be seeing it a lot. But thank you guys for stopping by my channel and I hope to see you guys soon.